There's been an official complaint to the International Olympic Committee by Iran over the 2012 logo. They say the symbol for the London Games is racist. Well, our Olympics correspondent Adrian Warner joins me. Uh, why? Can you explain? Well, remember, Iran doesn't recognize Israel has a very aggressive attitude towards the country. And they see in the logo the word Zion, which, of course, means Jerusalem. And I think what they're looking at there is on the left there, the Z, below the I, O, N. And they say that is racist, it's unacceptable, and London 2012 have got to change. Otherwise, they're talking, threatening, using the B word, the boycott. So uh, do you think anything will happen over this? I don't think so, Riz. You know, I've spoken to the IOC today. They say, look, it says 2012. The under-organising committee say, it says 2012 and we're not changing it. I think this is a little bit of posturing. I think it's very unlikely there'll be a boycott, Riz. Remember, this is the logo that, when it was first launched, caused epileptic fits with that, that um, very sort of flashing video. We're down at the Three Mills studio in East London, where the opening scene of the Olympic opening ceremony was revealed today by Danny Boyle. And here it is in model form. It is Britain as a green and pleasant land a bucolic scene of warmth and harmony. There's a cricket match taking place just over there, and there will be a cricket match taking place. And those animals will be real as well. There's over 120 animals, sheep, horses, ducks, cows, the whole lot. There'll be four maypoles. There'll be one representing each of the countries, so with a rose on top for England, a thistle for Scotland, a daffodil for Wales, and a flax for Northern Ireland. Over at the far end of the stadium, a recreation of the Glastonbury Tour has been put in place, and I believe it's actually in place right now. And in front of that, to reflect the festival which happens at Glastonbury every year, is a mosh pit where members of the public can get tickets to be part of this opening ceremony as well as watching the opening ceremony. At the other end is another mosh pit which has been described as a posh pit and at the other end is another stage with this enormous bell which will be rung at the beginning of the ceremony and at the end Danny tells me it's the largest harmonically tuned bell in the world which has already been put in for a service in 200 years time. This I should say is only one of many scenes which will take place over the course of the three hour event which starts at nine o'clock on the 27th of July. The first bit will be cultural, then there will be the ceremony as the athletes walk around and process around the stadium and then there will be the lighting of the cauldron.